Hello everyone, how you all doing? Hope you're having a great uh, love bite so far. Coming up next for another battle, this time we have Mentritonic versus Populon. I'm here joined by Super Rogue, who's gonna oh. help me commentate. Hello, hello. Hello, Super Rogue, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thank okay. you. Great, great love bite so far. Let's see what these two are, have come up. Oh, and uh, 10 seconds left already on countdown. So 9, 8, 7, seven 6, five, 5, 4, 3, three 2, two one. 1. And we're off. Let's get this party started. Uh, information about these two guests. We have Mentratonic, who is uh, quite uh, versed in uh, Tick 80. He was one of the early adopters of Tick 80 in the demo scene. And uh, he's been doing quite a lot of uh, interesting stuff with it. He did a few demos. He participated at uh, at uh, Outline as well, didn't he? Participate on the... Uh, yeah, the, uh, I think, no, he, uh, he uh, participated at the original Love Bite uh, as well. Ah, no. okay. And then we have Popolon, who's also quite active in the Tick 80 scene, not really active in the demo scene that much, but he's quite knowledgeable of Tick 80, so he'll, this should be a really interesting, uh, really interesting take. I'm seeing the Metrotonics already throwing some punches at me. So, P.S., about that Leprechaun joke, so I guess this is Retribution time, that he's going to try to do something to, <laughs> to provoke me. That should be interesting. Yeah, Super but... Rogue, do you have any favorites for this matchup? Oh, yeah, this is hard to call, but both contestants are like uh, off to the races really fast they uh, they uh, they're coding quite fast i mean we are like a minute in and there's already uh, quite a bit of stuff going on uh mantratonic uh, even working out a function already in this stage so i'm curious to see what this uh yeah if they are uh, they start so quickly i'm i'm, I'm uh, curious to see how this will evolve over the next uh, 20 or so minutes yeah, uh, we should also mention that the keyword for this particular matchup is fluids. What do you think about the keywords overall, Super Rogue? Do you think they've been working out pretty well? I mean, some were really crazy, like the, the, the baldy cat thing. That was really hard to, to take on. But I think yeah. overall it's been an interesting take. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's a nice addition to something that was already challenging, but uh, creative challenges are always nice to do. So uh, I think it definitely... Uh, give some directions and of course there are different kind of uh, coders some like more structured and others just like to really improvise so uh, i think it will depend from contestant to contestant how well these keywords uh, can be implemented and uh, and what the result will be but uh, yeah i think it's a nice addition overall all right uh let's read some trivia from uh, from the questions that we asked uh, these participants uh what metatronic likes most about size coding is starting from scratch with hopes and dreams before being hit with the wall of reality yeah. isn't that true don't we all don't we all <laughs> and popolon i don't have a lot of experience in the domain of life coding we're talking about size coding not life coding but the, i guess this is both at the same time oh we already have yeah. something interesting on screen very nice. Wow. Using the triangle function, it seems. So, uh, yeah, pretty yeah. nice. But that tri triangle, the triangle function takes a lot of parameters. So that's a lot of characters uh, right there. Yeah. I'm curious what the function is for. I guess to define the the number of uh, the direction that the, the um, yeah ah, that the points take. Probably some like sign, actually sign function for the wobbling of the thing, probably. Interesting. Let's see how that works out. Uh, so back to trivia. Mentrotronic was on and off active in the demo scene since '95, and uh, Popolon was active in the '90s, in the '80s actually. Uh, wow. Got to do some demo parties, but never actually finished any production. So wow. we're still in time, Popolon. Can still yeah. finish some now. Some hidden demo sceners, probably it seems. Are around. Uh, other hobbies of Magitronic is making bad puns, while Popolon prefers painting, coding, animation, illustration, history, and linguistics. A lot of other hobbies. Yeah. Favorite demo by Magitronic, Saint by Halcyon, Duzbul. And uh, favorite demo by Pompolon, she can't remember, but it's that one with the zooming of, uh, of the place of the party. Mm. I considered it might be a plastic from purple. That was a zoom in. Yeah, it could be, party. yeah. It had some map in it. Could be yeah, it could be something else entirely as well. So yeah, um, about this uh, leprechaun, what's that about, FPS? So um, 
I, 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 I'm, I'm good friends with Magitronic for quite a few years, so I decided to bash him a little bit on some of the 256 byte intros I was doing. Mm -hmm. And he has this group called TLC, which mm -hmm. is the Tea Lovers Committee. And I decided that it should be renamed the Leprechaun Committee because they're from Ireland. Yeah. It's full of leprechauns. Ah. So yeah, I met that joke and <laughs> Mentrotronic was heavily insulted and now it's time for a retribution. Yeah, let's hope it uh, will result in some creative outbursts that we can uh, all enjoy here. And uh, yeah, oh. Oh, going great so far. Yeah. And there's a reference there. I was learning about Zepuvinho. Zepuvinho min <laughs> means a character from Portugal who is like uh, the standard Joe, but we call mm. it, well, Joe in Portuguese is Joseph. So uh, Zé is the shortening for, for José. So I'm wondering if he's going to make something about that or, or probably not on the, I don't know how Zepuvinho could be included in the fluid, <laughs> but you know, stranger things have happened. Um, yeah, I'm curious just... about what Popolon is doing though. So far, he only has some circles on the screen. Uh, curious to see how he's going to turn those into fluids. Yeah, I think uh, the blue colors will help maybe with this as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, just interesting to see. Uh, less than 20 minutes on the clock. So uh, we're off to the races. Yep. Uh, more trivia information from uh, these participants. A favorite color of Mantratonic is color number two, which is the orange. I'm guessing we're going to see a little of it here because uh, yeah. apparently he's going for the blues. It always oh, does nice well. Uh, with, yeah. 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 Nice little wiggly things there. Seemed like a stream, so that's that's good. Uh, favorite color from Popolon is the EF7D57D Carotan that a lot of people actually also picked. So uh, it seems to be a hit among the. Uh, I wouldn't know by the hex code what exact color number or name that would be, but. Uh, I think so, some sort of some sort of orange, I think. Hmm. I could be wrong though. Yeah. Uh, Favorite book by Mantratronic, Ian Spank. Uh, is, this, is this Ian or Lane? I think it's Ian. Ian Banks Culture Novels. Yeah. And uh, which I, I honestly must confess I never heard of, but uh, I will look into it. And uh, favorite book from Popolon is uh, Philemon from ah. Fred Comic Series. Okay. Nice. 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 Popolon going, uh, yeah, for some more horizontal circles. Sort of. Uh, for peace. Yeah, just to see where he yeah, goes. Good. Yeah. He still has well, a lot of bytes to use. Uh, Mantratronic is a lot worse in terms of bytes, though. He's like 300 and something. So I uh, need to be careful there. Yeah, there's. I think there's different approaches between different coders. I mean, I like to get uh, out of the gate as well and just uh, start coding and probably go over budget and then trim it down later and some other uh, folks just start slowly and just build up until they uh, reach the limit so uh, yeah different strokes yeah. different people i sort of learned my lesson from outline of going over the limits right now, now i try to be more conservative and make sure that i'm always yeah. within the limits <laughs> yeah maybe uh, i haven't been punished like, enough for that Poplon's effect is starting to look pretty yeah. interesting very nice really fluid yeah And Mantratronic still has a few uh, bytes left from the text that he was throwing at me, so uh, that's fine. Yeah, it's always good to have it. Maybe that's a sort of security mechanism. I tend to do a little bit of commenting as well, and then you still have a... Uh, uh, so you don't get uh, too overboard with your size limit, and you still have some comment to delete that you can use maybe yeah. for something else. Yeah. Also, them doing some sort of C-like motion effect, which I guess is valid as a fluid. And totally different, uh, going for different uh, areas of the Sweetie 16 palette. Uh, the blues versus the purple uh, and green. I'm wondering if Papalon will adjust that later on or not. Have to wait and see. Ah, oh, now my Dratonics oh. moves from side to side. It's like he has the sinus yeah. in him. Maybe he actually tries to do a whole uh, water wave C kind of deal. So then I'm guessing he's, he's going to stick with blue. So yeah. Let's wait and see. 
So how do you uh, like the keywords uh, so far? Uh, some of them are definitely easier than others. Uh, fluid is something that I can see people, you know, coming up with an idea straight off the bat, but others felt like they were way too hard right. for, for you to come up with something. It was something that I was dreading when uh, when I was told I was a last minute replacement. I was like, oh shit, yes. even, even worse than I didn't prepare is that I have to face a, 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 a keyword. So yeah. if, if there's something really weird, I'm completely screwed. Yeah. I think you uh, did all right, yeah. Yeah, I lucked out. It wasn't that hard to come up with something, so uh, so I, I was happy with that. So yeah, I think both people were nice on the way. I, I do. I mean, it's a kind of pleasing aesthetic where uh, with Popolon's effect. I, uh, it's soothing. Yeah, I would just change the palette on that. Other than that, I really like how the effect is going. Yeah. I mean, what kind of fluid is this? Is this like lava fluid? What, what yeah, kind yeah. of fluid is red and orange and green? <laughs> A lava ravaging through an island. <laughs> yeah, still a lot of uh, time on the clock, so... Yeah, 14 minutes and 20 seconds, so plenty of time left. Yeah. We actually seen a lot of people who seem to finish earlier than uh, the clock, so I'm wondering if uh, 25 minutes isn't too much for for a tick 80. Uh, yeah, it depends really. I, I probably need all the time myself because I iterate a lot of my stuff and. Uh... Yeah, you keep changing stuff. That's what I'm gonna say. You probably you have something on screen like on the first two minutes, and then you keep changing stuff. And yeah. Then the, your your last thing is almost close to the first one that you did. Which um, I guess it's just a different style of uh, different Yeah, approach, I just like to play around and hopefully I uh, run into something nice that I can uh, pursue. Yeah, oh, this looks sweet. It's definitely valid. Yeah. Looking at Metrotonic's effect there, I don't like the black dots in the background. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you can maybe change it to a bluish. Color. I do like uh, the kind of perspective it gives uh, by using uh, the triangle function here. Hmm. But man, those parameters of the triangle function just hurts watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's offsetting the phases. Uh, sorry, Mentotronic nice. is offsetting the phases, yeah. Definitely wavy. Yeah, so they both are more wavy than fluid, but I guess uh, it's part of the... Fluid has waviness in itself. Right. It comes along with the territory. Yeah, so we're now at the, uh, well, approaching the halfway point here. So, yeah, I think halfway the, this battle, there's uh, there's some nice progression going on with both our contestants. <laughs> More bashing from Entrotonic to me. I think he prefers tea to moments. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. I don't confirm nor deny that wild <laughs> accusation. <laughs> yeah. I do like myself a cup of tea now and again. Yeah. Have you had any berry tea much. as well? Not not late, not lately, no. But I heard Mantratonic is a big fan of that one. Yeah. I haven't had either, but uh, now I really want to uh, see what other rages of all the. Yeah, all the hype is about. Hmm. Ah, Popolon is finally doing some changes to the palette. Definitely looking more underwater now. Still wouldn't pick green as my first choice so far at the background, but you know, maybe it's like a muddy river. Oh, yeah. You use your imagination. I really like the uh, interplay between the different ways that Manfotronic is doing at the moment. Really gives yeah, it uh, the whole scene a bit more dynamic. Yeah, definitely better than having like some small black uh, dots in the middle there. So yeah, definitely looks better now. It's a very complex twister that he's doing. So uh, where would you take it from here, uh, Super Rogue? So you like to Ooh. iterate, what would you try at this point? If uh, you're yeah, I would try a, a different things. So maybe overlaying something else or uh, yeah, 
maybe do something to the edges, uh, maybe uh, some circle drawing. But uh, yeah, I usually don't know where I take stuff myself when I'm when I'm in the uh, match. Then try different things and see uh, what works and what doesn't. Uh, sometimes ending up with something completely different than I started with, and some sometimes not so much. But yeah, uh, the journey is half the battle, literally. <laughs> uh, both of these are really good. Yeah. So it's going to be hard to vote which one is the favorite for sure. Antrotonic still slightly above uh, the limit. Not sure if he deleted all the panther yeah. text already or not. Yeah, Popolo on well within limit still. 206, 7. No. Oh. What was that? That looked interesting. Like a tunnel where the fluids are flowing. I like how Popolon still has those white spaces in uh, at the bottom. <laughs> Just not giving any F. It's only, it's only three bytes. Does it matter? Yeah. Well, yeah, at 215, uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> Ooh, I like yeah, that twister thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And nine minutes and ten seconds left. Yeah. Or we end this round. Both effects looking pretty sweet so far. Not quite sure what Popolon is trying to do with those uh, circles, but I think we're going to find out. Ah, nice. very interesting. Like bubbles ascending. I'm guessing it's gonna sparse them up a little bit. Ah, nice one from Antrotonic. Yeah, it really looked like C now. Yeah, he's definitely tweaking the motion and making sure that uh, yeah, the motion is actually more fluid uh, each uh, iteration. Now what is missing now? A rubber duck. That's yeah. what he's missing. That would be nice. <laughs> I don't think he has enough space for that, though. What's happening here? Mentatronic went back to the original thing. Yeah, I think he's still uh, tweaking uh, the different motions and uh, said now has a more of a swingy type of uh, motion. Uh, I kind of like it. Swing. He's four bytes overboard though. So just be careful what he's going to remove to make it work. Well, I'm still trying to figure out the bubbles, the yeah. ascending bubbles. That he yeah, I think he definitely wants to go for a for bubble type of field. Let's figure out a way to randomize the starting place. I remember during my matchup, I, I ended up doing like a function initializing the particles in the beginning, and then I barely used that. I could have just done some weird numbers and, and dividing or do modulo of that. Mm. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. You live and learn, you live and learn. It's more the stress when you're live coding. <laughs> you don't have time to think of like three different ways of implement the stuff. You just implement the first one that you can think of. Yeah. And then if it works, you don't want to be bothering debugging the other one. Yeah, it seems uh, Popolon is sticking to the green background. Wouldn't be my first choice either, but... Uh... Oh, I like how, where these waves uh, for my tunnel guard are, are going. Yeah, definitely looks more seen now. Yeah. Yeah, I like what the the, the, the triangle function is, uh, is doing. It really gives it a certain aesthetic that I can appreciate. Nice. 
The amazing thing is that all these fluids are like completely fake. <laughs> it's just sign that's going back and forth. <laughs> but it looks good. <laughs> and that's what matters. I think at 256 characters, uh, you can't complain. You can't implement Navier Stokes equations in 256 bytes, I think. But that could be a challenge for someone. Five minutes left. I, I think I'm definitely preferring Metrotronics uh, at this point, but uh, still five minutes for Popalon to finish up his experiments and uh, see if he can uh, come back. Metrotronics seems pretty much done, apart from uh, having to shave off a few bytes. But now he's within limits, even now, so even oh, okay. easier. Even characters for spare. That's tough. Popolon now has bubbles in a proper sinusoidal movement. Yeah. Also approaching that uh, 256 character mark. Oh yeah, I like. Uh, yeah, here's the uh, air bubbles. Yeah, both these effects started to shape up really nicely. Three minutes and 50 seconds left. So there's still some time to tweak some stuff, but I think both of them are reaching uh, the sweet spot already. Yeah, a lot of interesting seeds on Mentortonic for him to play with that make interesting stuff. Hard to pick one specific, which would be the final one. He's definitely having yeah. fun. Yeah. And it looks good. Yeah. That's it. I mean, uh, if you keep experimenting and uh, you don't do any crazy, too crazy uh, stuff, you can still uh, figure out some nice things that would improve improved effect. So, yeah, why not take all the time uh, that you have? then just desperately hit Control z a few times when you are overboard. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Two minutes and a half left. So props once again for Genio and the selection of tracks that he uh, took from uh, Demo Vibes, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Absolutely amazing Mixed mixes. Events. Yeah, throughout the, all the entire Battlegrounds uh, events that we've uh, been commentating, uh, it's, been, it's been pretty sick. Talking about sick, Mantratron is asking for seasick. Ah. He kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should be, yeah. You okay, Oki? <laughs> Oki's not commentating with us though, but uh, I guess it was too seasick to be able to commentate Mantratonic next time. Oh, uh, 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 that uh, was definitely seasick. Yeah, <laughs> that will work. Yeah, finding that sweet spot. What's the best speed to run with? Pretty good to me. Yep. Yeah, about a minute left. So uh, yeah, final fix up, final touches. Yeah, better remove those comments, Mentatronic. <laughs> Otherwise you're gonna end up disqualified. <laughs> yeah. Disqualified for making fun of Oki. Well, ten bytes left. It's fine. Can even do a print of something.
Popolon is still struggling a little bit to find the final version of his effect. Mm. And not much time left, 30 seconds. Oh. Popolon doing, doing uh, some quick changes in the last second. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, SPN, for those who don't know, is the scan line function. It affects uh, every single uh, line of the code. So it's useful to do quick color changes yeah. to, to the palette that affects per line. Oh. So like some gradients and stuff. Let's see if yeah, he has yeah, space yeah. on that. Maybe he realizes there's not enough time for this. Yeah. No time, no, no space. Time. This seems to be over. And as as yes, we're, I think we're time. done. Yeah. So Juan needs to run his effect. Yeah. So you can see it both. Well, he's well and, within uh, limits, so uh, just show us what you got. Both effects were quite good. I'm leaning a bit towards Metrotronic, but you people vote what you think is best. Don't be influenced by, by the commentators. <laughs> uh, vote with your hearts. Absolutely. And yeah, both effects quite good. Yeah. Uh, we're going to leave them running for you people to evaluate. Don't forget to vote. If you don't have a vote key, uh, you can uh, ask one of the one of the uh, organizers. Uh, me and Super Rogue yeah, would be one would of be them us. To, yeah. to give you one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, don't forget to vote. It's important that you vote. Some of these matches are decided by one point, so you can make a difference. Please do vote. All right. Uh, anything else to ask, Pro, before we head out? Uh, no, I think uh, I think we're good. Just uh, go out and vote. Enjoy the weekend, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye.